squares is a puzzle. If you can solve it, you could win the trip of a lifetime as we play Concentration. Here is the host of Concentration, Bob Carroll Gees. And welcome to Concentration, the game that requires the powers of memory and concentration. Did you manage to solve our opening puzzle? Let's have a look. Up here, you see, we have a fork, and then an R, and then an I. So it's for cry, ink, for crying, he's shouting out, L, he's sitting on this, so he's going, ow, and we've got a D. It's for crying out loud. Easy. Easy. Well, it might be for you, I can't do them. I thought it was, I think when I saw this one, I thought it was, look out, I'll blue eyes his backside. <laughs> We've got two contestants who want to play Concentration tonight, so let's meet them. How are you? see you, David. First of all, Janice. It's Janice Prest. Where are you from? That's right. I'm from Saddleworth. Near Saddleworth. Earth. Lovely. All right. You married? Yes. Married to Tony. Any children? Mm, yes. One little girl called Holly. She's six. Oh, lovely name. Holly Prest. Yeah. I like that. And a little bird tells me that you've lost a bit of weight lately. Tell me about that. Yeah, just about five stone. <laughs> she was yeah. 17 and a half stone then. And you, and you want to lose another two, you tell me? Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think you need to at all. You look fine as you are. David Wheatcroft, nice to see you, David. You're from? Uh, Washington. Tyne and Weir. That's right. A lovely part of the world. What do you do? I'm an area training officer for Apex Trust. You do clay pigeon shooting? Yeah, a little bit, now and again. <laughs> uh -huh. any, other, any other hobbies? Well, I like fishing and I've uh, done a sport of weight training as well. Weight training? Yeah. Oh, fine, you'll win. <laughs> 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 I don't mean that, I don't mean that, Janice. Let me explain how the game works. Behind these squares are pairs of prizes. If you pair two matching squares, you win that prize. And we will show you two bits of the puzzle. Also, there are wild cards, take cards, and swap cards, but I'll explain about those as we get to them. Whoever solves the puzzle wins the round, whoever wins most rounds goes through to play the global game for that wonderful holiday. Now, I can tell you that one of the prizes in this round is this. A fabulous personal compact disc player is hidden in our first game, Bob, and it's brought to you courtesy of Concentration. Yeah, nice, over the shoulder there, compact disc player. Now, they did flick a coin before we started, and Janice won. Is that right? So, you go first with our first round. Give me a number, please. Start at the top, number one. Please. Number one. A um, desk set. Number seven, please. Number seven. A Polaroid camera. Remember where you see the prizes. Most important. David. I'll have number 13, please, Bob. 13. Is a wild card. We'll match you with anything at all. Give me another number. And um, 2 oh, number 20. Number 20. A sandwich maker. Where's the natural match to that sandwich maker? It's under number 15. That's what you win. A sandwich maker on your side of the board. Now we're going to reveal three bits of the puzzle because of that wild card. Might not help at this stage. No. No. Not really. Another no, number. Really. Number four, please. Number four is a swap card. And number 17, please. 17. Please. Champagne. Sounds good. Do you like mm -hmm. champagne? I love it. Not mine. Janice. Uh, 23, please. 23. Trouser press. And number three. Number three. Facial sauna. You don't need one of those things. <laughs> Facial sauna. I don't know about Give that. Give me a number. Number 17, please, Bob. 17. Champagne. And number 22. 22. Is a wild card. Where's the natural match to that champagne? David was looking for it. It's under number 11. You win the champagne, and we can reveal it. Yes, we can reveal another three parts of the puzzle. See if it helps. No. Still difficult. Yeah. Okay, another number. Number two, please. Number two. Yeah. Is a take card. And number 19. 19. Computer chess game. Janice. Number four, please. Janice. Number four. Swap card. And number 25. 25. Mm. Trouser press. Have we seen that before, David? Yes, I think we have. Um, I'll go for number 10, please. Number well. 10. A desk set. And number 16. 16. That's a food hamper. Keep concentrating. 
Janice. Number six, please. Number six. A personal CD, that personal CD we saw. Oh, uh, number 14. 14. Oh, Personal yeah. CD. Oh, yeah. You and that is price. Two more parts of the puzzle we can reveal. See if you can solve it. No, not. not yet. Another number. You're still in control. A number 19, please. 19. Computer chess game. And number 8. Number 8. It's a take card, David. Number 2. 2 is a take card. And number 8, Bob, Number please. 8 is another take card. Oh, and David, how could you? He didn't have any choice, ladies and gentlemen. What that means, he takes the last prize that Janice won. She's only got the one. That's that personal CD. Janice loses that. David gets it. Those are the rules of the game. You've got yourself a personal CD. Nice. We can reveal two more parts of the puzzle. See if you can solve it. Mm. Not yet. Another number. Number three, please, Bob. Three. The facial sauna. And number 25. Please. 25. Trouser ah. press, that's come up again. Janice. Number 12, please. Number 12. Facial sauna. And number 19. Number 19. Oh. oh. Computer chess. Oh, where did it go? David. <sighs> number 18, please. 18. Polaroid camera. And number 12, please. Number 12. Is the facial <laughs> sauna that boss hunting for it? Janice. Number 7, please. Number 7. And Polaroid camera. Number 18. 18. That's a Polaroid camera. Goes on your side of the board. Again, two more bits of the puzzle. See if you can solve it. Out of time. No. You're still in charge. Another number. Number five, please. Five. A food hamper. Oh, no. Oh, and, yes. And 24, please. 24. Oh, no. A computer chess game. David. Number 10, please, Bob. 10. A desk set. And number one. Number one is the yes. desk set. <laughs> there he goes on your prize board. Two more parts of the puzzle. Can you solve it? Mm, Out no. of time, another number. Number 21, please, Bob. 21. Is a wild card. We'll match you with anything you wish. And number 24. 24. That's the computer chess game. Where's the natural match to that chess game? It's under the 19 and the five he gets. We're getting very close now. Three more parts of the puzzle to reveal. Can you solve it? Out of time. Another number from you. Number 12, please, Bob. 12. The face you're sorting. <laughs> number nine, please, number Bob. Number nine is a swap card. Janice, you're in control again. Number four, please. Four is a swap card. And number nine. Number nine is a swap card. Now, Janice, you have only one prize that you can swap. That's that Polaroid camera. I've got three cards here that you can swap that camera with a pick of these cards. One of them contains a pound or is worth a pound. Another one is worth 50 pounds. Another one is worth 100 pounds. So, would you like to swap your Polaroid camera for a chance of doing this? Yes, we'll have a go. Okay, the Polaroid camera goes. Uh, so, I'll, I'll just shuffle them a little bit more. Take your pick. I'll have that one, please. This one. Okay, I'll open it up. A Polaroid camera. Do you take many photographs? Quite a few. <gasps> well, you might be able to buy a roll of film. You've won yourself a pound. <laughs> a pound, <laughs> Janice. And just to show you that if you'd have picked this one, it was worth 100 pounds. And if you'd have picked this card, it was worth 50 pounds. No mind. That's the wrong one, Janice. Sorry about that. A pound is all you've got on your side of the board. Two more parts of the puzzle. Can you solve it? No. Out of time, another number. Number three, please. Number three. That facial sauna. <laughs> 23, please. 23. Oh. Trouser press. <laughs> David, it's back to you. 23, please. 23. Ball. And trouser press? 25. 25. <laughs> Be able to press your trousers with that. The trouser press you get. Two more parts of this puzzle. Can you solve it? It's getting very close. Another number. Number 
12, please, Bob. 12. <laughs> Face your sauna. <laughs> the lucid sauna. And number three, please, Number three Bob. Yeah. is the Face Your Sauna. You've won that. Your side of the board. Well done. Two more parts of this puzzle. Can you solve it? Okay. No. The time's up on that. What we're going to do, because those last two squares m must match, we're going to reveal those squares, and then you have three seconds to solve the puzzle. Reveal the squares. Can you solve it? No. Janice, the same applies to you. Can you solve it? Stand and deliver. Is it stand and deliver? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> he said he couldn't get the eel, he thought it was a tyre. I'll explain. I'll explain. What sort of car do you drive? I'll explain how Janice got that. There's the ST and then the arrows are pointing to the hand of the clock, so that's stand. Then the arrows are pointing to the man's hand, stand and. The D and it was an eel, deal. And the I, dealy. And the arrows pointing to the Eskimos fur, stand and deliver. Well, well, an amazing first round. Janice actually uh, won the round, but only ended up with a pound. David, you didn't, but you've got lots of prizes. Either of them could win the game and go through to play the global round. Join us in part two to find out who does. Welcome back to part two. As you remember, Janice won the first round, but uh, very little in the way of prizes, only one pound. We'll have to see if we can do something about that now. It's David's turn to go first in the second round. We got straight on with that. I can tell you first that one of the prizes you can win in this round is this. An amazing mountain bike to take on tough terrain is to be discovered in this game, Bob, and it's brought to you courtesy of Concentration. That's <laughs> great bikes, really nice. Yeah. Do you do any cycling? Oh, yes. No, 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 okay, no, no. well, do you do any cycling? Mm -hmm. You might. Well, you might take it up if you win that. A number from you, David. Number 13, please, Bob. 13. A golf umbrella. <laughs> and number 7, please. 7. An answer phone. Janice. Number 3, please. Number 3. Here's a wild card. Any prize that goes with. I'll have number 7, please. Number 7. That answer phone. Where's the natural match to the answer phone? Under number 15, that's what you win. Did you want one of those? Oh, wow. We'll reveal the first three parts of this puzzle. Two blanks, that's no. not very helpful, is it? No. Another number. Number 14, please. 14. The mountain bike. And number four, please. Number four. That's a briefcase. David. Number 17, please, Bob. 17. Is a swap card. And number 24, please. 24. Silk ties. Janice, you don't wear ties. No. A number. Number 11, please. Number 11. A golf umbrella. And number 25, please. 25 is a tape car. David. Number 21, please, Bob. 21. That's a briefcase. And number 9, please, Number Bob. 9. That's records. Seen lots of prizes, remember where they are. Janice. 16, please. 16. A fondue set. Oh, number one, please. Number one. Here's a wild card. So you get the fondue set, but where's its natural match? Under number eight. Fondue set. Good. Yeah. We'll reveal those three parts of the puzzle. See if it helps you to solve it. No. Another number. Number 10, please. Number 10. The mountain bike. And number 14, please. Number 14. Oh, yeah. That's a very nice prize, the mountain bike. They are very good bikes. Okay. Two more parts of this puzzle. See if it helps. Mm, not yet. Okay, another number. Number 17, please. 17 is a swap card. And number 12, please. Number 12 is a tape card. Oh. David, where have we seen that before? Number 12, please, Bob. Number 12, the take card. And number 24, please, Bob. 24, the silk ties. You were after that mountain bike. I know what you were after. Number Janice. 25, please. 25 is a take card. And 12, please. Number 12 is a take card. <laughs> yeah. Janice. 
At least you've got rid of those take cards, but you don't gain anything because David Nothing. hasn't got any prizes for you to have. <laughs> Never mind. So, all we do is reveal two parts of that puzzle and see if you can solve it. Okay, another yeah. number. Number 18, please. 18. It's a wild card. Again, we'll match with anything you're doing well on these prizes. And straight underneath, 23. 23. It's a swap card. Where's the natural match to that swap card? It's under number 17. Okay, now then you've got a, a choice of three prizes, if you wish. The answer phone, the fondue set, or the mountain mic. You can swap for a pick at one of these cards. One is worth a pound, another one 50 pounds, the other one is 100 pounds. Um, Would you like to swap one of your prizes? Yeah, I'll swap the fondue set. The please. fondue set, I thought you might. The fondue set's gone. <laughs> Okay, I'll shuffle these a bit more. Point to one of those if you would. I the centre one there. I hope you do better this time with these swap cards. Stop trying to look. <laughs> okay, you've got shut of the fondue set. Janice. Fifty pounds. Ooh, really? <laughs> and we'll reveal those three parts of the puzzle, see if you can solve it. Just to kill? Is it Dress to Kill? <laughs> yes, it is! Dress to Kill. Well, there we are. She got that, and I'll explain how. She saw the dresses, and the, the arrows pointed to one dress, so that's Dress, and the D, that's Dressed. The card is a two, Dress two. Then there's a K, and the hill, Dressed to Kill. Well done, lots of good prizes there. It's about time, I'm glad you got some nice prizes. There's no time to waste, I'm gonna go straight on with the next round. I can tell you that one of the prizes you can win in this round is... A marvelous microwave to make magical meals is one of the prizes in this game, courtesy of Concentration. <laughs> microwave, you all right? Very nice. Okay, it's your turn again to go first, pick a number. Lucky seven, please. Seven. A wild card will match with anything. Oh, 14, please. 14 is a take card. Oh. Where's the other take card? Show us that, under number 17. Again, it's not worth anything, I'm afraid, because uh, neither have we got any prizes in this round yet. But we'll reveal those three bits. It won't help, I don't think. No. Yeah, no. Give me a number. Number two, please. Number two. Ice cream maker. And number nine, please. Number nine. A writing case. David. Number 24, please, Bob. 24. A 35mm camera. And 13, please, Bob. 13. Ice cream maker. Have we seen that, Janice? Um, number 5, please. Number 5. Um, number 6, please. Number 6. Don't like ice cream. Oh, <laughs> perfume. She doesn't like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> OK, David. Number 15, please, Bob. 15. Coffee maker. And number 16, please. Number 16. Personal stereo. Let's get some prizes. Come 23, on, 23, please. 23. Microwave, then. Oh, number 8, please. Number 8. Oh. A cordless phone. David. Number 21, please, Bob. 21. A swap card. And number 10, please. Bob. Number 10. A cordless phone. Janice. Number 8, please. Number 8. Cordless phone. And number 10, please. Number 10 is a cordless yeah. phone. Yeah. As Janet said, it goes very nicely with an answer phone. Two more parts of the puzzle. Can you solve it? Not yet. Not no. yet. Another, another number from me. Five, please. Number five. Books. And 19, please. 19. That's a personal stereo. David. Number 22, please. 22. Please. Coffee maker. And number 15, please. Number 15. Is the coffee maker. Yes, you win on your side of the board. Two more parts of this puzzle. Does it help? Can you solve it? No. I've seen quite a few bits. Another number. Number 11, please, Bob. 11. Books. And number one. Number one. 35 millimeter camera, Janice. Oh, number 11, please. 11. And five, Books. please. Books. Number five. Books. You won. Well done. Let's see those two parts of the puzzle, see if it helps to solve it. Not yet, no. Not yet, another number. Number 18, please. 18. Perfume. And number 6, please. Number 6. Oh, lovely. Here's the perfume. You get that. Very good. 
Two more parts of the puzzle. Let's see if you can solve it. Okay, another number. 21, please. 21. A swap card. Number nine, please. Number nine. No. That's a writing case. Back to you, David. Number 23, please, Bob. 23. Microwave. And number two, please. Number two. Ice cream maker. Janice doesn't like ice cream. <laughs> Janice, up to you. Number three, please. Number three. Here's a wild card. We'll match you with anything. 23, please. 23. Oh, lovely. Here's the microwave. Where's the match to that microwave? It's under number four. <laughs> you win the microwave. <laughs> microwave oven. Is that good? Okay, now let's reveal those three parts of the puzzle. See if you can solve it. No. No. Um, oh, well, that signal tells us we are out of time anyway. So what's going to happen? It's hands-on buzzer's time. Sudden death. We're going to reveal that puzzle very slowly to you. Whoever guesses the puzzle correctly first wins the round. Hands on buzzers. Reveal the puzzle. Okay, that was David. What do you think it is, David? Believe it or not. Is it believe it or not? <laughs> yes, it is. Good. Well, David got there, and he noticed that there was one B that the arrow was pointing to, so it's B, and the leaf believe, then there's a hit, and the or, and the arrows again on the wood pointing to the knot. It's believe it or not. <laughs> it still means, however, that Janice has beaten David by two rounds to one. So, uh, David, sorry about that. You have got some great prizes, though. You've got a sandwich maker, you've got some champagne. See you afterwards. <laughs> you've got a personal CD, desk set, computer chess, a trouser press, a facial sauna, and a coffee maker. Fine. Absolutely. Well done. Great. It's been wonderful. Well done, indeed. Janice, here's your big moment. I'd like to join me in the global game. Good. Okay, it's concentration time. Right. Relax. Try and take it easy. It's a very important part. This is how we play. We will show you a board that has 15 squares. Behind those squares are seven pairs of holiday locations and one rogue square. If you match those seven locations in 45 seconds or less, we will send you to the last place you match for the holiday of a lifetime. Here's the board. You've got 45 seconds from the time you pick your first square. Okay. We all like you to win. Good luck. Okay. Off you go. Thank you. Number one, please. Two. No match. Three. Four. No match. Five. Six. No match. Seven. Eight. No match. One. Eight. Match. Nine. Five. Match. Ten. Eleven. Match. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. No match. Three. Fifteen. Match. Twelve. Seven. No match. Four. It's fourteen. No Thirteen. Fourteen. Seven. No match. Six. No match. Four. Fourteen. No match. Thirteen. Four. Match. Seven. Two. Oh, Janice! Oh, you got totally confused towards the I end there. You went, you went back to the same squares a couple of times, didn't you? And you knew they were wrong as soon as you did it. Oh. I was desperate to go somewhere. <laughs> well, <laughs> never mind. you're not going anywhere, I'm afraid, Janice, but you have got lots of nice, nice prizes. You've got an answer phone, you've got a mountain bike, you've got that cordless phone to go with the answer phone, you've got books, you've got perfume, you've got a microwave and a total of oh, 51 pounds. Thank you very much, thank you. You've been a great sport. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again on Concentration. Now, if you live within an hour's drive of the Family Channel studios in Maidstone, Kent, and would like to appear on television, we need you. The Family Channel is looking for families to be contestants in a brand new quiz show called Second Guess, and hosted by comedian Andrew O'Connor. If your family are close, and are good at answering general knowledge questions, ring the Second Guess office this weekend, and leave a message on this number, 071 637 9007, or 071 637 9009. The series will be recorded at Maidstone from the 15th to the 22nd of August. Well, stay tuned for the Omnibus edition tonight of GP.